This may very well be one of the best stroller options for parents on a budget. We're familiar with brands like Bugaboo, Up a Baby, Nuna, and others going for upwards of $1,000 for a travel system or even a stroller alone. Well, this is Mockingbird. It looks luxury and it feels premium, but only runs you 350. So let's check it out. guys, Andrew here with Dadverb. So as I mentioned before, what you're looking at is 350 bucks, which puts it on par with brands like Britax and Kiko, but it's still able to maintain this premium aesthetic that's similar to my main go-to, the Uppa Baby Vista. Now, unlike the Vista, Mockingbird doesn't come with a bassinet or a couple other extras like a mosquito net or a rain cover. I'd say you actually don't need all those things, but luckily you can buy all those extras online. And after adding all the same accessories, you're still coming out under $500. So let's work our way from top to bottom, starting with the handlebar. It's rocking that nice penny leather look, which also comes in black. In the middle, you'll also notice the levers that engage the one-handed fold. It's a super convenient feature that I'm a fan of, and both the fold and the open are simple motions to get used to. Some folds can get really complex. That's not the case here. Checking out the buttons on the side, they allow you to adjust the handle level similar to the Bumble Ride Speed and the Britax Be Free. The water-resistant canopy comes in three options as of this upload, and you're looking at the sky blue colorway here. On top, you've got a magnetic peep window, or you can unzip the canopy from the rear to reveal a mesh opening for a wider view and more airflow. The frame is made of aluminum and feels pretty dang strong. It actually weighs around the 26 pound mark, give or take a few, which puts it at the level of the Vista, but what it can't do at the moment is expand to a double. So it's feeling more like the upper cruise at the moment. That said, I don't think they would have built such a heavy, sturdy frame without plans for double expansion down the line. If I were to make a bet, I would say that they're working on adapters right now, but that's just speculation. We'll see how it expands to doubles in the future. Moving on, the nylon seats accommodates our toddler very nicely and allows you to reverse it to either be rear or front facing. On the back, you've got a handy pocket ideal for your phone. It also has a one-handed recline with that full range of motion we like to see. You'll also notice that nice leather detail along the bumper bar which complements the leather on the handle. And my favorite part about the seat is the magnetic sunshade. It's pretty unique in that it offers full coverage including your child's legs. Mockingbird designed it to maintain airflow so it actually doesn't overheat, and when it's time to take it off, the magnets make for a super simple peel away. The stroller is newborn compatible with the addition of their infant insert, the bassinet, or the car seat adapter. Their adapters can accommodate a number of brands including Nuna, Britex, Cybex, and Maxi Cozy, but check out their site just to be sure on compatibility. Moving down, the basket is one of my favorites of any stroller. It's huge and perfect while shopping for groceries or carrying larger diaper bags, and then some. On the rear, you'll find the brake, which only needs one foot to engage. That's always a good thing. The foam wheels will never go flat on you. It's got a nice feel and pushes very smoothly. The front wheels can lock out if needed, and to round it out, it's got great suspension so it can handle some good bump if it needs to. So all that said, why is this so inexpensive? Is the build quality sketchy? No, it's actually pretty legit as you've seen. It's JPMA safety certified, among other things. Uh, I think what it all boils down to when it comes to price is just their sales model. Much like how Dollar Shave Club and Harry's shook up the razor business by selling direct to consumer, Mockingbird functions similarly and isn't sold through a wholesaler like Bye Bye Baby. In fact, Mockingbird was actually started by a Harry's alum, which is pretty cool to see these New York startups challenging these Boston powerhouses because New York has struggled against Boston for quite some time. Jalen Brown is going to get a little room service. Guys, seriously, I love this stroller. It's about time something like this finally came along. Uh, if you are strongly considering buying this, which at 350 you should, uh, I've got an affiliate link down below in the description. Buying through that link helps support this channel, and it's at no additional cost to you guys, so consider doing that. Uh, that's all I've got for you guys. If you found this video helpful, smash that like button down there. It looks like a thumbs up. For more videos and reviews for new parents, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this one, and come back for the next one. God bless, guys. Later. Thank you.